Welcome today to be inspired, motivated, and uplifted by God's Word. Who is it that has not prayed enough for their breakthrough? Let them continue to pray until something positive is seen. The breakthrough comes when nobody knows or can tell. You don't know when it will come. You hope and ask for things you want. It is not in your hands to provide. It is not in your power to make it happen. It is the Lord's responsibility to grant you the desires of your heart. You may have received promises and lots of assuring that you are going to receive that which you have been asking for, but you don't know exactly when it will be. You have prayed long, but you are receiving nothing in regards to that. It is not a reason to back out. Giving up is not just the option. The delay is only giving you a signal to continue praying. Don't stop praying. Your consistent prayers are very important in a time like this. The pressure of asking and not receiving immediately may set in or may be so much on you that you may be considering to quit the pursuit. You may be thinking of stopping when you have not achieved it. Listen now. This is the time you need to continue your prayers. You need to stand firm even more because when you begin to feel spontaneous pressures, you should know that the time for your breakthrough is near. You should know that you are about to receive what you have been asking from the Lord. Life and success depends on the strength you inject into your pursuit. Your ideas and your skills are not just in you for no reason. They are in you to be made manifest. They are in you to be revealed and not to be hidden. They are created in you to bless you and change the world. You cannot let go of your dreams because you are not winning in it. You cannot just let go without a fight because it is taking time to excel. Every idea goes through the process of making. Sometimes it may not work the way you want it. Sometimes your desires for yourself may not be the plans of God for you. That is the reason sometimes it is difficult to see through the windows of foresight because you need to see into the future. You might be weakened by futile efforts to lose that fine hope because you think you are condemned to failure. Perhaps you are too weak to pursue your dreams when the times are tough. Can I tell you this? Tough times make tough people stronger than their strength. Tough times make weak people stronger than their weaknesses. You then see that it is your choice to accept the trying time and be made strong and better to fit into the future ahead of you. It is not for your destruction, but the tough times are to build you to become a better person. In a time like this, the only force that moves you is the strength you receive from the prayers you make. You pray to get power to pursue your dreams and fulfill your destiny. Your prayers make you strong to resist firmly the attacks of the enemy. The devil wants you to stop praying to get you down, but you have to keep praying to avoid the attacks of the underworld. Your prayer provides the power that makes the light to shine on your path and makes you willing to do more because it strengthens your attitude and makes you better to see what you are praying for is on the way. Your strength is always growing when you pray. This is it. You do not pray when you do not have the faith of God you are praying to. You have to believe in the God you are praying to before you pray to Him. The words of the Lord says, Without faith, no one can please God. If anyone will come to God, let him first believe that God is, and he is the one that blesses those that diligently seek him. You then see that you don't pray if you don't have the faith and believe that God is. You don't pray when you don't believe that God can give you what you are asking from him. When you pray, it shows that you believe that God is hearing you as you pray. You know by your prayers that there is God. These are the reasons you pray. When you believe in God that you will receive those things He has promised you, good health, healing, blessings, prosperity, grace, promotion, joy, and peace, 
security from the attack of the enemy. And on the contrary, these things are not coming. What you ought to do is to continue the prayer. When discouragement comes in, then you know your time to break through is near. That is the reason the devil has inflicted you with weak spirit and discouraging heart to lose your blessing. Remember, anyone that endures till the end will receive the reward. The reward is not for those that quit in the process of the wait. The reward is not for those that complain always. The rewards are not for those faithless and those that do not believe in God and themselves. The rewards is for anyone that endures till the times they break through and receive their blessing. Keep yourself away from the words of the people that want to discourage you from your morale in the weight of the prayers. Listen, they will tell you stuff like, what has been the result of your prayers? What you have received in all these prayers you have been making all the year long. They make you want to listen to their counsel and stop praying. The devil wants to use them to put you out of the way of the blessing the Lord is sending your way. The devil wants to use their false words to stop you from the breakthrough from the poverty, failure, pains, and the hopeless situations you have found yourself. It could be from the things you don't know how it came or who has done it. It could be things you have mistakenly led yourself into. It does not matter the way you got there. What matters now is that you have to keep praying until something new happens. You don't have to stop praying until you begin to see positive changes in your life and your situations. Some men have won many conflicts by their acts of consistency and continuous prayers. The prophet Elijah was an example of this. James 5.17, Elijah was a man of like passion. He prayed earnestly that there will be no rain, and it did not rain for three and a half years. Elijah did not just come out and speak that there will be no rain. He prayed strongly before he spoke the words. 1 Kings 18, after prophet, Elijah had defeated the prophet Baal and slaughtered them. He went up to the mountain called Carmel. He bent down to the ground and put his face between his knees. He told his servant to go and watch the sea. There was nothing like what he wanted to see. He came back to tell his master, the prophet Elijah, but the prophet was consistent in the pursuit. In his prayers, he is convinced that his prayers will produce the result. He knew the time to call forth the rain has come. He persisted until the seventh time after the servant went and he saw something positive and different from the previous ones he has been observing. The servant told his master the prophet, a cloud as small as a man's hand is rising from the sea. Then Elijah sends his servant to go and tell King Ahab to get his chariots ready and ride down before the rain starts. You cannot stop praying when you have not received what you are praying for. Every blessing comes because we pray for them. No prayer made is a waste. Do not let anybody tell you it is a waste to pray when you have not received for the one you have prayed. You don't give people the chance to talk you out of your goals. You don't allow the voice of people to discourage you in your faith. The words of the Lord says, there are as it may be many sounds, many voices of the earth, and each of those voices has their meanings. If you don't guard your heart from jealousy, you will receive words that will toss you away from the path of your breakthrough. You know the voice you listen to, a trusted voice that could talk you into your breakthrough, that will stand by you and encourage you to do more for you to receive more for yourself. The voice of the Holy Spirit is always there to guide you into your success, into your breakthrough, into your great ideas. You have to clinch the Holy Spirit. You have to depend on the voice of God that will never fail you, that will keep you from praying because it is in God through the Holy Spirit that you could only receive power to continue praying until the time of your breakthrough. You have to keep praying because your breakthrough is near. Your prayers bring your breakthrough nearer.
Your continued prayers make you successful, victorious, win over the world. On the works of the flesh, the devil works in you through your body while your spirit wants to pray, but your body never wants you to pray. The spirit wants a breakthrough by praying, but the body is weak. The body wants the comfort of failure. The body never wants you to do anything new. The body is the agency of the devil in you to give you lots of excuses from praying, hence destroying your plan. To put you away from achieving your goals, the Holy Spirit in you is the agency of the Lord to help you conquer the body and the devil to do a new thing, to get to your goals, to pray till something happens, to keep building your most holy faith, praying in the spirit, keeping your spirit up to defeat weaknesses that come from the body. The body is the enemy. You have to continue praying to win the body, to be successful in your business and your career. You have to keep praying till you conquer that addiction. You have to keep praying until you get things right, until your soul is at peace. You keep praying till all is well with you. The world will not allow you to pray, to win, to rise to the top, to have peace, to break through the hardship, to live in your life of abundance. Only if you can separate yourself from the world activities, get off the comfort of failure and low life, and stand your feet to pray until you get your place of abundance. Until you break through, you don't have to stop praying. Jesus never stopped praying until he returned to God in heaven. You don't have any reason to stop praying. Tell yourself, I am going to pray until the breakthrough. Resolve in your heart that prayer will bring your breakthrough. Keep praying because your breakthrough is near.